I'm Jim Raspberry, and this is the best art museum in Laurel. Um, Jim, I think it's the only art museum in Laurel. What? Whatever. It's still really cool. Welcome to the Lauren Rogers Museum of Art, the first art museum in the state of Mississippi and one of the greatest assets for us here in Laurel. The inside exhibits are fantastic. They're always changing and they're really top shelf. But what's really cool too is that this museum is very involved in the community. Almost every month there's an event going on on this lawn, but there's really cool stuff inside. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're here with George Bassey, director of the museum. I've been coming here since I was a little kid because I think uh, I was telling one of our guys on staff that uh, basically as soon as you leave the hospital in Laurel, your first stop <laughs> is at the Laurel Rock. So I have grand memories of coming in here, but tell me uh, as, a, as not so much an art aficionado, uh, but lover of uh, cultural things like this museum, tell us about some of the more notable pieces that you have in this main gallery. We've got great pieces by John Singer Sargent, of course Winslow Homer is yeah. our, one, of, one of everybody's favorites. And uh, Eugene Boudin's an European painter that's pretty important. He was Monet's teacher. We've got a great painting by Millet that was copied by Van Gogh. A lot of what we do that changes out from time to time are works after about 1950. A lot of those are in storage. They rotate out depending gotcha. on what other gallery spaces we have. And then of course, Del Adele Chihuly yeah. with the glass work. He is the premier glass blower yeah. in the world, based right. out of Seattle, Washington. We've had a couple of his exhibits through the years, which have been probably some of the best attended we've ever had, but we were able to add a piece to the permanent collection and it's always installed kind of over our black marble staircase, so it's pretty cool. Not only do you guys have an incredible gallery here, but every month almost, you guys are doing events. So you got Blues Bash, right. uh, Heritage Arts Festival, so I mean, folks are coming in from out of town. Pretty much, if they hit it on the right day of the month, you're gonna be able to see incredible things just out there on the front lawn, right? One thing we try to do is engage at all ages. Yeah. So we have things for just about any age group. The free festivals on the front lawn, Blues Bash, my favorite, which, I got, to, which I got to start when I got here, but just a way for us to kind of bring people in and Absolutely. kind of let them see something new or learn about, a, especially with a traveling exhibit, just learn something about an artist or maybe a medium they didn't know anything about. George, I feel like I'm in somewhere other than Laura. Well, you know, this is really the favorite room in the gallery, in the oh, whole damn. museum, but no one hardly ever gets to come in here. So. No, I've never seen it. All right, you want, you want to try to find Andy Warhol? Yeah. All right, Jim, you ready? Let me see it, George. Here it is. Dang. Golly, that's cool. Well, that is so cool, man. You know, he's one of those artists that uh, just about everybody knows. Right, exactly. And you know, you took everyday objects and made them into art forms, which yeah. are kind of, kind of fun. A lot of times people think that the museum is dead. There's not a lot of living artists or contemporary artists. And so right. it's kind of fun for us to be able to add important pieces like this to the collection. George, man, this is incredible. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you letting us well, come and check it out. Well, always fun to talk about the museum and always happy to share it. Man, we appreciate it. And right behind us, you're telling me this is all original Walter Anderson. Right, no, my favorite Mississippi artist, Walter yeah. Anderson, who we're kind of known for. And this is, we're very fortunate to have a lot of his pieces. And some have been with us for about 30, 40, 50 years. So. Wow, yeah. incredible. This is just a true testament of all the different types of work that we have here at the museum, all the different genres of art. I mean, it is really, really cool. We appreciate it. And uh, can't thank you enough. Hey, thank you. Thanks for being with thanks us today. For, thanks for having all us. All right. Well, I want to tell you something. If you're coming in from out of town, heck, even if you're in town and have never been to the museum, one, shame on you. But second, come check it out. This is incredible. It's a real asset for the community right here in Laurel. If you're in from out of town, take half a day. Heck, take all day. Come and check it out. You won't be disappointed. George, wrap it up. I'll take it. <laughs>